guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my second trailer breakdown for the three other trailers that I didn't get around to doing in yesterday's video. So we're talking about The Flash, Batwoman, and Black Lightning, because all on different sites yesterday, the CW released a bunch of different Crisis trailers. So I got around to doing three yesterday, you can check out that video. I did Supergirl, Arrow, and Legends. And today we're going to be doing the rest. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're really close to 100,000 subscribers. It would really mean the most to me if you could share this video around with all your friends and people online. So let's break down this first trailer. So the first trailer we're talking about is The Flash. So the first shot is actually of a treadmill. What could this be? I believe it's the cosmic treadmill if you've read the comics, if you've seen, I don't know, like the animated shows like Justice League, the animated series, you would know what the cosmic treadmill is. It's essentially what speedsters occasionally use either to practice or to time travel without running around basically. And so it seems like this is actually not Barry because Barry's boots are a lot brighter. I think this is actually Jay Garrick and I'll explain a little bit as to my reason why I think Jay is running on this treadmill a bit later, but let's move on to the next shot. So we have Lila, obviously Harbinger in the crossover, and so Barry replies to her when she's obviously appeared. He says, he sent you here to get me because the crisis is here. And you can see in this next shot his reaction to that. And essentially, yeah, Barry knows that Harbinger is here as like a sign, a presence that yes, crisis is about to happen so this is all going to be in the supergirl episode because all these trailers are essentially harbinger recruiting everyone to become a part of this team apart from the black lightning trailer but we'll talk about that in a second okay so yeah let's move on to the next shot we've got lila once again and then we continue on to this battle scene so it's in a warehouse there's some rubble everywhere you have the atom you have green arrow you have batwoman and you have mia smoke and so what's going on, there's some pyrotechnics going off in the background. Then we move on to the next shot, it's outside in some sort of rubble as well. Barry is in his flash suit, he's running around. He seems to be right in the middle of the battle, basically. And then we have this nice sort of tender moment with Iris and Barry. And Barry says the line, I will be running home to you. Very nice, looking forward to this moment. So we cut to Iris. Iris' reaction to Barry essentially saying his goodbyes, it seems like. So, yeah, let's see what that turns out to be like. Then this is the bit where I'm talking about why I think it's the Earth-90 version of Jay, you know, obviously Barry Allen on that Earth. So, I said the Cosmic Treadmill was a thing right at the start of the video just a few minutes ago, and there was a speedster running on it, but it doesn't look like Barry. And this is definitely a treadmill, right? And you have the torn pieces of of 90s flash suit so that's Barry Allen obviously played by John Wesley Ship I think he's dead right here his suits ripped apart I think he's run too fast or obviously it could be the antimatter you know there's rubble everywhere so maybe it's destroyed and he's killed but I think more likely than not it has something to do with the treadmill so maybe he runs so fast he like evaporates or something or his suit just gets torn apart like I don't know reality gets fucked up basically and yeah so I don't know what the real reason is but it's something to do with this treadmill and it seems like he's gonna die so let's move on to talk about the next trailer the next trailer is of Batwoman so this came out yesterday via a different site and so the first shot of the trailer is of a old Batman suit you can see it right here this could be in fact not to do with Batwoman but I think the theory is this is to do with the new version of Bruce Wayne that we're seeing played by Kevin Conroy who is appearing in the crossover as a version of Bruce Wayne slash Batman. This suit's got cobwebs and from what we've heard this is going to be an iteration of basically like Batman Beyond. He's going to be an older version of Bruce Wayne so therefore you can guess that yeah he's probably gonna have a cobwebbed up batman suit somewhere so it seems like yeah this could be that and this could be when they're visiting him i don't know if he's on our earth or if he's on another earth but we move on to the next shot we've got batwoman she's out in the street definitely some destruction right here 
and we get a counter shot, so shot reverse shot, and we see Lila and Harbinger is telling her, she says, Batwoman, there is no more time, the multiverse is in danger, and in response to that, Batwoman says, I'm sorry, the what? So, I'm not sure if Batwoman actually knows about the multiverse, I, like, I think she knows that something else exists, right? But she doesn't know that there is so many Earths. She knows that, like, Supergirl is not from her Earth, and that's about it, I think. But I don't think she actually knows about, like, the multiverse as a whole, so I think this is a genuine reaction to that. And then we have Batwoman, so Kate Kane, just in her normal clothes. She's talking to Kara, so they're gonna have some moments in this. I think this is actually in Gotham, just due to the background set design behind her. I'm guessing and we got this shot this seems to be like a continuation from that flash shot in the trailer so you know there is some pyrotechnics going off in the background an explosion Batwoman's it looks like she's throwing batarangs I could be wrong but anyway so that is about it for the Batwoman trailer let's move on to talk about the Black Lightning trailer so Black Lightning obviously isn't going to be a part of the crossover in terms of it's not gonna have like a whole episode but he's going to be in the crossover for a decent chunk of it. So finally, Black Lightning is confirmed to be part of the Arrowverse. And in this trailer, it seems to confirm by him saying, you just told me my world is over and you need my help. My world means he's from a different Earth. So I think where you're seeing in this, it could be some sort of base that the monitor is set up because we have our first look at this version of Harrison Wells who is not Harrison Wells it could be Nash Wells who we've been seeing on the flash recently but it is a version of Briar from the comics so yeah that's really exciting our first in motion look at him he is being confronted by Black Lightning and so we see this shot right here this is his reaction to you know everything going on and you know how they all need his help and everything and so Barry in this shot says we need your help stopping this antimatter wave so they've obviously reached out they found out about black lightning and now they are in need of his help so an interesting thing about this shot obviously you've got prior but also you've got black lightning and the flash you got killer frost there but you have cisco in his vibe outfit which is really interesting is cisco going to get his powers back by this i'm not sure but he's got his goggles on he's got his suit on and everything and he was spotted on set with his stuff, so very curious. Okay, so then we get a shot of Earth-73 being destroyed. Very curious to see that maybe this could be Black Lightning's Earth. I mean, I could be totally wrong about that, but it's cut right after that, so potentially. Then we move to that very greeny blue tinted scene that we keep on seeing, the action scene. We see someone on the hill. I'm guessing this is possibly the Anti-Monitor. I can't really make out who it is. We go back to... The base wherever they are I mean it could be black lightnings base but I don't think it is I think it's like a crisis base where you know this is all gonna be that we've seen in these trailers so also we have him confronting once again from a different angle Barry again from that same angle and then we go to star labs level 600 so that's kind of weird I don't know but anyway this is earth one and unless anything has changed and this is on a different earth this is Earth-1, Black Lightning's on Earth-1, so that's his first time if he is, in fact, from another Earth. Also, we've got Heat Wave and Killer Frost, so it seems like they may be teaming up for a little bit. And then we've got a close-up of Harbinger. Really interesting, because this might be her becoming Harbinger, being taken control, perhaps, because she seems in severe distress. Okay, so let's move on to the most interesting shot of this trailer. We get to see the return of Earth-90's Flash, he is facing off face to face with Black Lightning. So he's returning, John Wesley's ship's returning, and I think this links into my theory about the Flash trailer with him potentially dying because he's definitely showing up. So we got a repeated shot from the first trailer that we got like a week ago, and this is a Black Lightning using his powers. Looks really awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, Turn on notifications if you're new as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. We're only 400 away. Let's do this. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.